a Japanese man. Yeah, we leveled up, by the way, from uh, beating that boss. We leveled up. Yeah, this game would be much, much... Uh, like, I think these guys can definitely make a creepy game, that's for sure. They have a direction. Have something that I want to do with, the, with this game. It definitely feels like this game is. Kin, uh, it's definitely kindred towards uh, a much, much younger audience, that's for sure. Yeah. This is where. Uh, The door, the locked door uh, with the keypads. Over here. Enter this code into that keypad. One zero zero four. It's his birthday. Hmm. Is this October fourth or is it <laughs> uh, the tenth of April? He was always distant and cold on the surface, but he had a tender side, too. That's probably uh, 10th of F April. This is a Japanese game. Only <laughs> only people in the U.S. that uh, that uh, write the date as month, day, year. The rest of the world uh, write it day, month, year. I don't know why... Uh, people in America do that. Even though in, in, uh, in speech... I think it makes sense, like, yeah, the 4th of uh, July, uh, or usually July 4th, like, it's shorter than saying the 4th of July, July 4th. So they write it, uh, the month, and then uh, the day, 4th of July, takes uh, just longer to say, which uh, I guess it's uh, convenient when writing it down, July 4th, July 5th, and so on and so forth. Uh, still, so they're the only region that uh, they actually do that, I think. So, I don't know what's uh, the deal with that. He was always distant and cold or something as well. who? Are we, no, we're finally gonna know who he is? Mm hmm? It doesn't matter. Just enter the code already. What do you mean, it doesn't matter? Alright, let's go. How the hell do you know? How the hell do you know that info? Go in to look for the silver-haired girl. Can we go back? We can go back. Uh, just checking. Just checking. Uh, nothing here. Where will this lead, I wonder? this? I really can't tell. It's like some sort of a siege. There's an item here. So, is that a gate? I think... I think this is the machine that they usually use uh, to... Uh, to dig these tunnels. And sometimes, uh, from what I've uh, heard and read, that some of these machines, once they actually finish with them, uh, they don't remove them. They just keep them down there. Because it's, uh, you know, logistics. It's more expensive to actually... It's really expensive to take that uh, machine out. So they just leave it there. A flashbulb. Another flashbulb. Yeah, let's go ahead and store it. <sighs> so comfy. Mm. 
Ah, Can't skip all we that. meet again. Tis such a wonderful day. Are you gonna sell anything new? Oh, uh, what the hell is this? Oxygen cylinder? That heals? <laughs> Nothing like oxygen to put the fight back into a war-ravaged body. It's very potent, but too bulky to carry around for long. Six hundo. <laughs> We're back with this item. Shit, they stopped uh, selling the others. <gasps> I don't, I don't want to use these. No katana, no... Uh, no golf... Uh, no golf club? That's weird. I shall see you again! That's a little bit concerning, actually. Hmm. Well, I have one uh, last uh, golf club, by the way, viewers. So this pipe, golf club, and uh, the other golf club that I that I have stored. So, huh? I guess uh, it's better than having uh, n no weapons, no regular weapons. That's for sure. Beats having uh, these uh, other shitty weapons. Holy, this area is uh, a little big. Uh, might as well check on the map. Uh, this is where we came from. So, if we go there, oh, that's a dead end. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Whoa, another bonfire? There, there's a mystery item there. All right, all right. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check these areas. I'm gonna start with the uh, with the first one. Uh, over here? Yeah. Let's check this one. <laughs> well, it's one of these. It's one of these enemy. I might actually not bother with them at all. The girl must be close. I just know it. Stay alert. Stay alert. Uh, let's hear again. The girl must... Can you say something new, please? The girl must... No? Okay. <laughs> what does this say? Uh... Oh! Oh, two of them! New uh, enemy! Ouch. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna bother you again. Yeah, there was nothing interesting here. No reason for me to fight them. <laughs> what the hell? That's that's this is actually kind of creepy. Uh, don't mind me. <laughs> don't mind me. Just gonna grab this uh, item and get the hell out of here. Yeah, don't mind me. All right. Let's check the opposite side. Gotta be here. Just you alone. Might as well try and find this viewers. See if she's gonna have something uh, special. Are you the only one? Item. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh shit, I I knew it. I knew it that there's gonna be another one. Be safer for me to just heal up. Damn, I'm doing really bad uh, in this uh, recording session, huh? The worst uh, that I've uh, ever been doing. Can you force her to open her eyes uh, or her eye? Yeah, it's really annoying trying to to fight these to fight these enemies. Gotta be honest. It's gonna be another one there. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna bother. Might as well. Phew. Might as well rest I'm here. Tired. Wow. And check out the uh, the items that we got here. Yeah. Well, a spear. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna use this. Oh, a purple bill, Sylvia. Dawn was just about to break, and the subdued rays of morning light were finally spreading across the sky. I was taking my time. Strolling through the bustling scene of the early hours, the clamor hurt my ears. Angry shouts rang from the main street, while flirts could be heard in the alleys. Hmm. Yeah, more, uh, more about this girl. You know, I was actually a little bit interested in this one. Like, what are they trying to do with her? Where are they going with her? What's the deal with her? I avoided the hubbub on my way. Just being in a foul place like this made me remember the life I'd led. There was a shop with its door propped open. The music that wafted from within was not what you'd consider uplifting. The sign by the entrance was half shrouded in dark. <laughs> they play metal? <laughs> the word Sylvia adorned it. Boss, I think you've had enough. Oh, is it an actual bar? A sweet voice said from behind the bar. Mm -hmm. The bartender was a long-haired woman in a sleeveless dress who was leaning against the wall. Ooh. I know it's up to you, but I think you've been hitting the bottle hard lately. The voice was young and lilted, like that of a male cat calling to a female. Lilted? I think it might not... Rika? 
A glass clattered hard against the bar's surface, cutting her off. Silence followed. Fine. Don't listen to me, then. Hmm. The girl behind the counter took the glass to fill it, but grumbled in disapproval. I'm just saying this out of concern for you. You look exhausted these days. And the last lady to run this place, well, you know. Rika! Again, the glass hit the counter. A cigarette was lit. Damn. What's on your mind? Once you're done, you can leave for today. What? Do you want me to fire you? The woman bristled with anger. But the girl named Rika only shrugged her shoulders. Don't say that. If you deserted me, I'd be all alone. The glass she placed on the bar didn't smell of the pungent alcohol. It was a white liquid. Gin? The last owner of this place died from alcohol poisoning. I don't want that to happen to you. See you tomorrow. The owner uh, <laughs> was drinking his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, merch, his, uh, his stock. There was the sound of high heels approaching. I darted behind the sign. Huh? Rika looked up and down the alley, bathed in morning light. In the m drinking in the morning? Sylvia? I already knew who she was calling to by that name. Rika gave a heavy sigh for the first time and dragged her feet down the dirty street. It was only when she was finally out of sight that I made up my mind. I'd never heard how Sylvia had been brought up before she died. She was so shy and quiet. Huh. There wasn't much to say about her. She was the one girl I didn't hate. Wow. I think all of the girls that uh, she was talking about... Uh, all of them uh, are dead. But now, I was going to steal her name. At first, I thought it was revenge. It had to be. Revenge against them for living better lives than me. Whoa, that's called envy, lady. Holy. And it was revenge against my own cruel fate. Step by step, I made my way through the half-open door into the shop and whispered, Mama. Damn, that's cruel. The woman was slumped over the bar, the same as when Rika first left. She sluggishly hoisted herself up to look at me and shook her head as though she wasn't sure what she was hearing. I whispered once more, Mama. That's when her barren eyes, laced with crow's feet, wrinkled in a squint. Oh, so it's you. She laughed with tears in her eyes. You poor little thing. You look just the same as when you first came here. Something about how she said that made her sound like Rika. Where have you been? You've been gone for so long. What have you been doing with yourself? Here, drink up. You can have this. It's your favorite. I'll give you whatever you need. Anything at all. There's a good girl. She cooed in a slow drawl, offering me the glass. I wonder if Sylvia was also served warm milk like this the first time she came here. This time is no milk. I'm sorry. I whispered for the first time to myself. Hmm. I am Sylvia. 
Sylvia, with her purple bell, the little girl who was held close by Mama in a small downtown bar. Strange. This is a little bit vague, really. What is the game trying to go with that, I wonder? Well, I need to pick up something uh, for healing. Next up, I'm going to have to use the vitamin, so. All right. Let's go ahead and continue. Mm, actually, I was thinking of actually going uh, to the opposite side. To, you know, to check on the next bonfire, but... I guess this should work. Enemies? Well, that was, uh, not worth it. Well, since we are here... Why... Why... Yeah, let's go ahead and try and... Use this. I have to wait for the charge? Did it do anything? It didn't do anything! Oh. Oh. It didn't do anything! What a waste! <laughs> what a waste of item! Well, might as well sell all these! Oh shit, there's an item over here. How the hell can I pick that up? I don't think I need to go from up there. Can I climb these? Maybe I need to shoot. To shoot at it or something. Maybe I need to hit the rubble. I think I need to shoot at it. I'm gonna go and try and grab uh, something that help. Uh, uh, it's gonna help me with that. Another mystery item. Uh, oh man! Wow, very cool. What did we pick? A hammer. Uh, this steel hammer is pretty heavy looking. Few enemies would survive a blow from it. Since it takes uh, so much effort to swing, agile enemies might evade this weapon. Alright. We're not gonna use this item ever. Actually, I don't know. We might actually have to use it. Or we will have the opportunity to use it. Uh, let's switch this. Switches in. And try and get that item. Shoot at it. Probably that will help us. Can't find any way to grab it. Uh, gotta be honest. If this won't work. Hopefully it will. Hopefully it will. Just 
just point and shoot. Yeah. Aha. All right. So this is how. It... <laughs> Give me my time back. I wasted time. I wasted my time on that stupid ass item. Going in and out in this stupid ass bonfire <sighs> loading screen transition. Oh, for this, I want I want my time back. Yeah, yeah. Let's start this. Let's start this item that I think we might never use. All right, where should we go? Walk on eggshells. Kill two birds with one stone. Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and check on the item. Please don't tell me it's gonna be a a flash bulb. Nice surprise. Oh lot? Or is it Lottie? I think a it's a tall lot. human was watering the garden. His white shirt and black slacks were simple and clean. Teacher! As the two young children called out, a man who was watering the grass raised his head. Yes? Anything the matter? The man they called Teacher kneeled down to peer at the young boy through his glasses. Teacher, when's Lot coming back? The question came from the little girl. Even from a distance, I could see the man's face grow dark. Teacher, will Lot ever come back? Lot is dead. The little boy looked up expectantly, but their teacher could only furrow his eyebrows and purse his lips. More children gathered, questions alight on their small faces. Their matching white shirts were tattered with use. I could imagine that Lot, too, had joined this circle with her signature yellow bell. The young children didn't appear to have parents. Hmm. They lived in the big, plain house with the man they called Teacher. So this is uh, some sort of an orphanage, huh? Now, what's taking her so long? She's gone away before, but... Oh, she's not actually dead? The teacher murmured an excuse, but the children wouldn't be soothed. Hmm. We want to play with Lot again. Uh, maybe Lot's sick. Maybe she's hurt. Maybe she's dead. I bet she misses us. She must miss us. As worry spread among the children, the teacher asked them a question. Let me ask you, does it make you sad to think that Lot's lonely? Of course. We miss her. The teacher nodded and continued. Then, if Lot knew how you missed her, it'd make her sad, right? His voice was gentle. Why didn't... Why didn't they uh, let the guy voice over this one, I wonder? Maybe it was missing. Maybe his dialogue was missing. <laughs> and they have to, and they had to go with uh, someone else to uh, to fill in his uh, this missing dialogue. As I watched from a distance, 
I hesitated momentarily. I knew that the yellow bell that Lot possessed was from this orphanage, which was why I'd come. But I couldn't imagine that she really had a family in this place. Would anyone care if she were gone? Their worries now put to rest. The children returned to their games, but one girl lingered behind. A freckled girl with curly hair. But we're all... The girl mumbled, looking down at her feet. We're all still sad, even if Lot isn't lonely. The teacher put his hand on top of the girl's head. I suppose there are some things that can't be helped. I know what you do at night. Uh, uh... The girl blurted, looking at him hard. If you really felt it couldn't be helped, then you wouldn't be out searching for Lot every night after we've gone to sleep. Oh. The teacher quickly put a finger to his lips. Everyone's worried enough as it is. But now I'm more worried about you, teacher. The man simply nodded with a sad smile at the girl's words. I know that. And I'm sorry. Then, with the hose still in hand, he looked at the sky and spoke aloud. Between you and me, I'm not all that worried about Lot. I'm sure she'll still survive outside these walls. All that matters is that we all considered her family. I'm sure she wants to treasure those words, too, because the family we made here is the only one we've ever had. As far as I'm concerned, we're Lot's family, and as long as she knows that, everything will be okay. And to be honest, I believe that Lot will return someday. Night came, and the lights in the orphanage winked out. I slowly crept out from the shadows that spread before the orphanage. The moment the teacher saw me, he stopped in his tracks. The light from the full moon completely transformed me. I rang the bell, knowing it was all I could rely on. So, for some reason, whenever you have possess of uh, someone else's bell, other people will see you as the bell's owner? Hmm. Lot? Is that you? And who is she? What is she? The one that's actually doing all of that. And for the reason why, I think I'm probably having some idea. Yes, yes. It's me, Lot. Well, they uh, the game did say at the start that these... Uh, uh, these uh, vengeful uh, ghosts, uh, you know, can take many shapes and forms. Uh, uh, many shapes and forms, so... So then, does this mean you're ready to come back to our home? But of course. If you'll have me, that is. Back at the orphanage, the freckled girl was trying her best to calm the children who were crying from the teacher's absence. For days now, She'd taken his place guarding them at night. Holding the young girl to him, the teacher announced my return to all the children, to all the family. I am Lot. Lot with her yellow bell. A gentle member of this orphanage with a bigger family than anyone could ask for. Hmm. Although she appears that everything she's doing, uh, like, uh, is bad, 
it has a positive impact on the people that she's doing it to, she's uh, she's doing it to them so even though she's saying that uh, like they she really hate most of the girls you know outside the one that uh, I, I think the her name was Sylvia outside of that girl she hates uh, all of them but for some reason hmm <laughs> Weird. Anywho, let's go ahead and check this uh, this path over here. Dead end. <laughs> it's gonna be an item. A golf club. Nice. No, the that item is uh is uh, rare, so I'm gonna savor that for sure, for sure, for sure. path hmm. <laughs> mystery item can I destroy this it doesn't affect him. Actually, it didn't affect me at all. It did affect me a little. A little. A little. So I might as well actually destroy these. Right? Especially since, uh, well, it did affect me a little. I'm just fearing. I'm just fearing that uh, I'm gonna miss on items uh, under these boxes, even the ones that uh, that's exploding. But I don't know. Oh, cutscene. 